So welcome back to Vintage Steel Garage part 2 on the 1 litre Fiesta EcoBoost rebuild or strip down. It may be a replacement engine, we don't know yet, but so far the top end's looking good. So let's press on. Okay, so as a quick recap if you didn't see the first episode, bought this car for my daughter with a potentially uh, damaged engine from the oil pump. What happens is the cam belt on them is inside the engine bit of a bad design, Engi uh, belt breaks down, bits of the belt go in the pump, block the pump, starve the engine of oil and this had a bit of a rattle to it. You can see the belt is breaking up terribly, feels like a scaly um, lizard and I've had all these caps off and they all look good, all the lobes look good. There's yeah, there's a, there's a scratch on here, nothing to write home about. I'm fine with that, can't feel it with your nail. Just got to talk those up again afterwards, I've made a note of that. So I'm fine with the top, what I want to do now is get underneath, which I need to take the exhaust off, get the sump off, look at the big bearings, big end bearings, the main bearings, and have a look at the oil pump itself, and if all these check out, check out, and the oil doesn't look like silver soup paint with metal particles in, I'll also take the, air, the oil filter off as well, cut the oil filter open and have a look at that, if there's no particles in there, then we're on for... New cam belt, new belt to the oil pump, put it all back together, put some oil in, run it. If it runs, yay, if it doesn't, we're back to a new engine. So let's crack on, get it up in the air. Uh, you know, you've got to love these jacks, they just make your life so much easier. Just pull them out, a couple of seconds, press on the button and up they go. So I've now got great access on these, so what I've got to do is get an exhaust shield off here this and then I can start to have a take a look underneath so I'm gonna get that off first and then I'll come back to that so up here I've taken the cover off there that's the cover there the heat shield so I've taken that off four bolts hopefully drop the exhaust manifold down which will give me some clearance to get in uh, tiny 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 turbo look at that I mean basically that is a turbo from there to there. Uh, so you've got your exhaust side and your inlet side. Exhaust gases come out, spin that round, spin the shaft through here, spin that round, suck the air in and ram it into the engine. Just need to check as well that that hasn't been starved of oil. This is obviously water cooled. I took the header tank out as well from there. That's there. So that used to be there. That came down so the water would come down here. So it's water cooled and it's also oil fed as well. So I'm going to disconnect that, make sure there's some oil there. Once I've got that off there, so I've cut the top off the oil filter to have a look. I didn't want to do it with a hacksaw because that would have got filings in. So let's take the filter out and have a look what we've got. And now if you can get into these pleats here, that's just dirty paper. What I might do is just run a magnet over it. We get a magnet. If we get any particles stuck to it, that is nice and clean on the end. So I'm happy to say that that filter is clean. So I would say that's ticking the box number two. So the cams are good, the oil filter's good. Let's check the oil. And then let's get the big end bearings out and the cam bearings, sorry, the big ends and the uh, main bearings out and have a look. So that filter is positively for the bin, but good. This engine's quite a challenge really, it's quite, um, it's quite petite and uh, there's a lot of little niggly bolts and you've got to get your hands in places and if you've got big fat hands it doesn't really work so I would class this as a complication of level 3 brews so I'm on my third brew now of this, this is how serious this is we've got the end plate off here, there's a plate here uh, there was a plate here just protecting the engine, that's now come off uh, sorry, just like a plastic, there's, there's a plastic guard here that's come off uh, just to stop the wheel crap from the wheel debris going up. I've taken the auxiliary belts off, so they've come off. Uh, I just need to take these bolts out. These are the bolts that were proving a little bit difficult. So I've got to get these bolts off here. Um, here, and there's a bit of corrosion in there, so I'm just going to try a little bit of heat, a little bit of penetrated oil, get that swung out of the way, and then we can get the bolts all the way down the sump taken off take the main bearings off, begin bearings off and see what that looks like. So uh, we're going to start on that today. 
Right, so this is the next test we want to be looking at really, which is the quality of the oil coming out the sump. So I'll see if I can do this out getting my hand in the way. Let's so we've got a clean bucket here, tub. So let's see what this comes out like and hopefully it's not like silver paint. So moment of truth. Yep, well I got it all over the floor anyway, that's a start. Well, let's have a look. Well that's looking black. I'm not sure if that's a magnet on the end of there. No, there's no magnet on the end, so that's not a telltale for bits coming out. Um, it doesn't look reflective, which is good. So this bolt at the moment is tight AF, let's call it. I can see I'm flexing it. I'm actually moving the head, torsionally twisting it, but it's not giving at this point here. So it must be jammed tight in here. So I'm going to try a bit of heat on this. That is tight. These are the things that you just think are going to take you five minutes. And don't. Doesn't want to move, does it? Aha! <coughs> the reassuring sign of either a bolt about to snap or come undone. I'm okay. Gonna try the one on the other side now. Do a similar thing. Heat, leverage, heat, leverage, heat, leverage, and see how we get on. As I say, time for a brew for you guys watching, or maybe even go out for lunch for an hour and a half and come back. See you soon. So this is where cars can be quite testing. It's probably taken me over an hour to get three bolts out of the um, aircon pump and these are the three bolts now they should all be the same length so you can spot something that's happened there already this is the bolt at the top so you can see it's probably about 100 mil long M6 something like that and uh, it came out nice and easy because that was on the top of the uh, aircon pump these two were on the bottom and these were just open to the elements completely corroded up that one I managed to get out by heat treatment and um, a bit of extra leverage just on the point of nearly snapping it and you could hear it crack and come out with heat and penetrating oil 
this one unfortunately I started going it, it was going but it's just snapped so that's snapped off in the sump so that's going to be another job for another day of um, trying to get the snap stood out the sump so that'll be drilling, tapping, welding a nut on I've done that sort of thing before so an hour delay if not more just getting those bolts out but they're out now okay so we're finally at the point where we should be able to get the sump off having spent an hour trying to get those bolts out so there's just a series of M8 bolts around the sump holding it in place Right, so that should be all the bolts out now. Just a case of trying to get a bit of leverage and prise it off because it'll be held on with silicon sealant. Oh, come on. Well, we'll have to take the eggs off a bit more when we come to uh, refit it, because we can't refit the sump like that. Ah, success. Now then, what we're looking at now, we're looking at the oil pump. Let's bring you in for a look. So you're now seeing what I'm seeing in the bottom of the engine. Um, I'm thinking it might have got a bit hot around that middle bearing yeah that's toast I can tell already see the middle one it's a lot darker right let me get that cap off and have a look right let's see we we'll get this middle cap off on the big end and see what this looks like oh that was loose <coughs> I got a good feeling about this. I think we might have looked out. Yeah, spun a bearing. Look, burn. Spun a bearing there and welded itself on. No, that's not looking good. Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. Oh, I'm gutted. Gutted with a capital G. Well, that's now developed to an engine out job. Well, the positive, I've stripped half of it. So that's good. you got to look at the positives on this, haven't you? <coughs> what I'm going to do, I'm going to put that cap back on. Pretend I didn't see it, no. I'm going to put that cap back on and then look at the others and see if they've had a similar problem so it's now getting to the point of do we rebuild the engine do we get a new engine a new engine is easier okay so we need to um, wheel power options don't we really my luck ran out. It was an off chance. It looked positive because we started at the top and worked our way down. We probably should have just took the sump off first. So it's what happens. So middle bearing, cylinder two, spun a bearing, got hot. You could see the um, you can see the crank's got hot, so this crank is probably scrap as well, really. Um, I was going to take the mains off and have a look at the mains, but there's no point because basically the the answer is the engine has to come out uh, and it all happens all because this pump here blocks up with debris from the belt disintegrating and then this was a sort of telltale that didn't look good when I took the sump off and this sort of thin sheet metal is basically the bearing that's thrown itself out as it's got hot on that middle one 
So the middle con rod, the crank is scrap. The piston, it could have damaged the bore as well, so we're going to have to strip the engine down. Um, so, <clears throat> so let's have a think then. Got a number of options. Go in the house and watch YouTube and pretend it never happened. That's one option. Daughter won't be happy with that. Second option, take the engine out, rebuild it. Take the engine out, put a recon engine in. Take the engine out, put a second hand engine in. Putting a second hand engine in will be no good because you don't know the mileage, you don't know the history of it. It could be an accident waiting to happen, you want to put new belts on it so you're getting into the engine. So really it's either a recon engine, full engine, recon short engine, short engine means the crank, pistons and block. And I rebuild it because I know the head's good on this and I know the cams are good. Um, but what it really means is I've got to take the whole front of the car off now to get the engine out. So I'm going to end that video there. Thanks for watching. Unfortunately, it's one of them things it didn't work out the way we wanted it to do. Um, please watch, like and subscribe. And um, next episode we'll be stripping the front off the car.